All right, so um, now let's do this last example, example five. Let me make sure that. Okay. Okay, let's do example five. Okay, in example five, basically we have a boat uh, that is going along a straight line with that speed profile, basically as a function of position. So initially, uh, between zero and 100 meters, the velocity squared was equal to 4s. Between 100 to 400, the velocity was equal to 0.2s, all right? Now we would actually like to draw the position as a function of time and acceleration as a function of position curves. Also, like to find the total, uh, the time required for to reach that 400. So we don't actually have time yet here. So we have to basically extract time. So here, let's do that. Let's plot A versus time. Let's plot V versus time, and then position versus time, and then finally we'll plot A versus S. Okay. When you have a dynamic system, or you know any uh, uh, kind of motion that you are trying to analyze. The best would be to look at the acceleration versus time, velocity versus time, and then position versus time. Okay? You will fully describe the movement. Okay, so how should I go about that? So I know when the position is between zero and 100, right? Velocity squared is equal to 4s. So can I use this relationship to be able to somehow obtain acceleration as a function of time from here? Can someone kind of take a look at that and then let me know? It's okay guys to make mistakes, um, you know, um, just ask any questions and... Uh, yeah, we can't, uh, because A equal dv over dt, not ds. Right. Okay, but maybe there are, maybe if we try to manipulate this a little bit more, we might be able to get somewhere where we can get the accelerator function. To, uh, ds over dt, we use this. V is equal to, the, if you do this, then you're gonna square this up, right? If I put like V is equal to the SDT, it's gonna be like a, like a complicated equation, no? I think the best way here would uh, be. We, we had an example that uh, we have A equal, uh, A as a function of V. So when we say, when we do the derivative, we will have uh, A as a function of V here. Okay, what should you do here, for example? Uh, we do the derivative of uh, V and S okay. with respect to the time. Okay, so how should I do so that? How can we use the equation ADS equals VDV and then uh, divide both sides by DT? Uh, okay, if you use ADS equal to VDV, right? ADS is equal to VDV, it will be, also it will not be very clear how you would do this. Okay, so maybe I can make a suggestion. So every time you have like a variable, right? If you have one equation where you have one variable is basically the derivative of the other. So one and V here, derivative of the other, right? Doctor, doctor. Yeah. فينا أول شيء إنه نشيل ال squared تبع V إنه نعملها radical both sides. بعدين نعمل V is equal to ds over dt. We can, but then you will have a square root here, right? Uh, you can, yes, 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 exactly, you can. So you can say V is equal to two S one half, and then I can say V is equal to ds over dt is equal to two uh, S half, okay? Then I can say ds S one half is equal to two dt, yes. Then I'm going to have S minus half dt, uh, sorry, ds is equal to 2 dt. And then maybe we can try to integrate that, right? Yes. 
Okay. Uh, yes, absolutely. That, that is one way of doing it. Well, I found another easier way to, of doing that. Just if you differentiate this guy, right? So you have, okay, let me do that. So if I have V squared is equal to 4S, right? If I differentiate this guy, I'm going to end up with what? 2, let's go, 2, V, dV is equal to what? 4, DS. You guys agree? Yes, doctor. Okay. If I now divide by time, what am I what am I gonna end up with? So I'm gonna end up with two V A is equal to how much? Four times what? Four V, right? V. So V and V will cancel out. I'm gonna end up with A is equal to four over two, which is equal to two meter per second squared. So there you go. So now you find the acceleration. Okay, you found the acceleration. How can I find the velocity as a function of time? We integrate. You integrate. You integrate. So the velocity is equal to 2t. How about the position? Come in, integrate v. You get t squared. Okay, are we good? So now, if I want to uh, draw acceleration, uh, so here, these are valid for what? These are valid as long as what? As long as t is where? Can I find the time, by the way? Can I find the time when you, you, you reach that point? Yes, Can I find the time when you reach that point? Yes, exactly. So How at v equal 20? Bravo, exactly. So I can say s is equal to 100. Right is equal to T1 square. That's good. So T1 is equal to how much? 10. 10. Right? So here, this is valid as long as T is below 10. Okay? So let's find what are, uh, what is uh, the velocity for T greater than 10. Okay? Okay. How can I find uh, the acceleration velocity and position for T greater than 10? Well, I know V will be equal to how much? Zero. Let's do it from the top. The two integers are from the top. We start from T1 and T2. We do plus the S1. Okay, yes. But we still need to know uh, what would be the acceleration profile, right? For T, for T greater than 10 seconds, right? How can you do this? Well, we know V is equal to 0.2 S, right? When t is greater, right? Okay. How can I find, Hone, how can I use this relationship to be able to get the acceleration as a function of time here? Can someone tell me? Now I'm going to ds, now I'm derivative with respect to time. We say a equals 0.2 v. We're going to use the example that we're going to use. Okay, sure. Okay, good. Uh, we can do this. Uh, any other solution? It's really about kind of manipulating variables, right? I can write V is equal to ds over dt, right? Yes. Right? So uh, ds over s is equal to how much? 0 0.2? dt. DT must vote. Okay, so now I want to integrate this guy. What should be my boundaries? Here? 100, 400. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, Right? And you will miss information in that process. Yes, okay. So always you want to keep your functions as variables and then finally just kind of substitute the variables with their values. So here, 0, 2, show, 2, t, my heck. Is I'm sure 10, 10, 2, t. 10, 2, t. 10, 2, t, bravo. 10, 2, t, yes. So how, so how that is going to look like now? So you're going to do log of, show, s over 100, is equal to 0 0.2. Can someone can help me out here? 0 0.2 t minus 2. 
t minus 10, right? Uh, I expanded it directly. T minus 10, okay. So if I do the exponential here, then I'm going to do what? S over 100 is equal to E, 0 0.2 T minus 10. All right, so S is going to be equal to 100. E, 0 0.2 T minus 10. So does that make sense or no? So if T is equal to 10 seconds, what would be my position? So E to the power of 0 is equal to how much? 100. E to the power zero. I'm sorry, e uh, it's one. One. E to the power ten. When t is equal to ten seconds, e to the power zero is one. So s is equal to one hundred. So which makes sense? How about how can I find the velocity now? Derive. We derive. You want to differentiate, right? So differentiate yeah. this guy. E zero point two t minus ten. So if you differentiate that. And that was the velocity. So 0 0.2 times 100 is how much? 20. 20. So 20 e uh, 0 0.2 t minus 10. How about the acceleration? 4, Mazwood. OK. So we're good. OK, so we have uh, this is 4, t is the greater than 10 seconds. Okay, now let us plot that, right? So let's plot this. Uh, okay, let's say this is your time axis. Let's plot it like kind of like three times. Okay, uh, this is your time. And then here I have my acceleration, then I have my velocity, then I have my position. Okay, uh, and then we have here like 10 seconds, right? 10 seconds and then 10 seconds, which is T1. Okay, uh, how how does the first one look like? What 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 was the acceleration on the first one? Two was what? Acceleration was two. So initially the acceleration is two. You guys agree? Right. So yes. this is two. Okay. How about the velocity profile? It was integration of this line is would look how? Up going up. Indeed, down. a straight line passing to the origin. Yeah. Right. Okay. So here, what is the maximum velocity here? 20, my heck. Yes. Okay, and then the slope here was two, right? How about the position? Little parabola. Exactly, bravo, it's parabola, right? And uh, what do you think the slope of the parabola here is gonna be? Infinity. The slope ah, sorry, Does, does anyone know what is the slope of the parabola here? What should be the slope? 10 times 20 divided by 2. 10 times 20, 100. Okay, how do you get the slope of the position? You look at the velocity, my heck. What is the slope of the velocity, the acceleration? The value of the acceleration, 102. So you have a constant slope throughout, right? But sooner the slope basically changes. The slope of the parabola changes linearly, right? So at 10, what is the slope of the parabola? 20. Exactly, 20, right? So this is the slope. What is the slope of the parabola at zero? Zero, approximately zero. zero yeah. Just look at the value of the velocity, Mazbot. What is the value of the slope at this point? You just, you know, look here and then you find here, right? So the slope here is zero, right? So it starts basically tangent to the time axis. And at this time, at 10 seconds, basically the slope is basically 20. My egg, are we good? Okay, yes, let's continue and then build from here, right? What would be the acceleration as a function of time after 10 seconds? We're gonna have to draw this, right? Yes, an exponential uh, figure, yani, but it curve to Okay, where does it start from? Does it start here from or does it start somewhere else? From the point where we ended. Okay, which is That's where? Four. Min, min four. Oh, okay, I'm four. I'm four. I'm four. Exactly, when t is equal to 10, mm -hmm. it's power zero is one, so we're gonna be at four, right? How does the exponential look like? Is it like that or like going down? Going up. Going up. Okay. Why? Because this guy is positive, right? Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is the first term. And then this guy here is four, right? 
Okay, are we good? Okay. Uh, okay, how about the velocity? If I want to draw the velocity. Doctor, if you are with a concave or a convex. You look at the. Yeah, if this, if this guy is positive 0 0.2, then it's it's growing, right? It's growing with time. So 0 0.2 is, but you know, so you have to have a positive constant in front of the time. Right? So as time increases, basically this exponential, this value here increases, and then obviously the whole thing will increase. All right, good. So. Uh, you mean like that? Exactly. Yeah, the exponential, exactly. Exponential, it would look like that. It will never be concave because if it was the other way, then ultimately, like, you'll be negative. Okay, let's look okay. at the velocity. Oh, we have a few minutes left. Uh, so, how about the velocity? Um, I'm in the same I'm 20 in Belgium. Okay, so at time, okay, so at time 10 seconds, what is the velocity? It's 20, right? Yes. Okay. And then as time increases, right? What is the slope of the velocity curve? So here, I know this guy will have to start here, right? And then it's exponential, check. So it goes straight line, and now it becomes exponential. You guys agree or no? Okay, so the velocity yes. is equal to 20. So at time t is equal to 10, so your velocity is 20, and then it basically it's an exponential, right? So it could be like that, for example. Right? The slope is not continuous, right? It doesn't have to be continuous here. Why is the slope not continuous? Does anyone know? It's always you look, changing. You look at the acceleration, right? Acceleration, so, I'm not yeah, different. Exactly, acceleration is different. So actually the slope here is, is like that, right? Osbud, this is not correct, right? The acceleration only has a higher value than before. So before this is your slope is two, after your slope is twice. My egg? Okay? Yes, yes. Okay, so guys, to find the slope, you wanna look at the previous, like the acceleration, right? So the acceleration after 10 seconds is greater than the acceleration before 10 seconds. It's basically it's continuous. So here the acceleration is the slope of the curve after the time basically is twice the slope of the curve before 10 seconds. Now let's look at the position. How about the position? Can we see the equation, please? Uh, okay, so the position is 100, e 0 0.2 t minus 10. Okay, it starts at 10, yeah, so 100, it starts at 100. Okay. Okay, so it starts from, does it actually start from 100? Mishi, doctor, you replace 10 with T. Uh, yes. Exactly, right? So what is the value here, by the way? The value here was 100, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so, so we're gonna start at 100 and then we're gonna go, right? But is the slope continuous or no? Can someone tell me? Is the slope continuous before and then after 10 seconds on the position? Yeah, it's going to be continuous because there's no gap in the V. Exactly. That's 20, yeah, 20. 20, so the slope here is 20, right? And it is actually continuous after the time, after 10 seconds and then before 10 seconds. All right? So the slope here, it will actually start as what? It will start as a parabolic. It's parabolic growth. Right, and then here from this point up, it is what exponential, right? Exponential growth, right? Just like you know, the exponential deflation of the Lebanese lira, right? <laughs> exponential growth in this case, right? So, this is exponential growth from 10 seconds up, right? And then it's parabolic growth, but at that time, basically, they have a continuous, uh, they have the same slope, right? Um, or the slope is basically continuous. And then why is that? Because you are looking at the curve on top, right? So this velocity curve is basically continuous, 
Okay, the only way where you will see that the slopes are different is if you actually have a jump in acceleration, right? Remember, this curve, right? So this curve represents the slope of this curve, right? And then this curve represents the slope of that curve. The value here basically, right, is the slope, and the slope is basically continuous. It's the same for this curve and then for this curve. That point is basically common to this line and then that line. So at this point, you actually have a same slope. Okay, the last question is um, how can I find the final time, right? So remember here on, on this, basically, I need to find the time at 400. How can I find the time at 400? So I need to find basically like, you know, TF, right? S equals to 400. Exactly, yes. So S is equal to 400. Okay, so where should I replace that? So I'm gonna actually use this guy and then put 400 instead of S, right? So it will be Actually, we have the equation, uh, we wrote the equation in, yeah, in the simple here. way. It's here, right? So 400 is equal to uh, 100. Before we did the exponential, the before, before we did the exponential, we had well, S we over 100 we, equal Well, we need, to get, we need to get the time though, right? So it's gonna be E 0 0.2, right? TF minus 10. And you guys agree? Right, so let me rewrite that for you. So it will be uh, 400 is equal to 100 e uh, 0 0.2, the final time which I'm trying to solve for minus 10. How can I do that? So 400 over 100 is equal to 100. Four. Equal, oh, four, yeah, sorry, four. is equal to e 0 0.2 tf minus 10. If I, I'm trying to get tf, so I'm gonna do then that. Then of four is equal to 0 0.2 TF minus 10, right? So if you divide by, if you divide by 0 0.2, you're gonna end up with that. So TF is equal to ln of four divided by 0 0.2 That's plus 10. 10, exactly. Okay, so this is your final seconds. The last, the very last thing that we're trying, we're gonna find is A as a function of S. Right, and I think that is pretty simple. And A as a function of S, well, we know uh, here you have the 100, right? So A as a function of S. So we know initially A was equal to two, right? So from um, zero to 100, A was equal to a constant, right? You guys agree? So A is equal to two, like if it's not, if it's a constant, then A is a constant, right? Doesn't change with S. How, how, how can I find A as a function of S after 100? So I know V was equal to 0.2 S, if I differentiate that, I'm gonna get A is gonna be equal to 0 0.2, right, times V, right? What is V? V is actually equal to 0 0.2 S, so it's equal to 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 times S, which is equal to 0 0.04 S. So this is A as a function of S for S greater than 100. So if S is greater than 100, A is equal to 0 0.04 S. If I actually wanna draw this, you know, it's gonna be a line that actually goes through the center and the slope here is how much? 0 0.04. And then this guy is 400. Okay guys, so this is your curve. So initially A is equal to two, and then after that A is gonna be equal to 0 0.04. Doctor, at S equals to 100, A is equal to four. In this case, for shuffled con discontinuous. Uh, for, uh, you're actually right, yes. If S is equal to 100, then A is equal to four. You're actually right, yes. So it actually, so this is four, my okay? Right, so if S is equal to 100, as both, so 100 times 0 0.04 is equal to four. So it is actually that, but then obviously it has to cross through the center. So this guy is your 0 0.04. Okay, let me redraw that one last time. So this is your S, this is your A. Uh, no, we're, we're actually done. Uh, so this is 100 and then, and then that's it. Okay, uh, no, basically uh, this guy is 0 0.04, this guy is four, and we're basically done. Uh, that is uh, 400.
Okay, guys. So uh, obviously, this lecture is recorded, and uh, I'm only posting obviously this on, on on Blackboard, and you guys can watch it at your convenience. Uh, but um, you know, doing it during class time, so some of you who would like to attend it, they will be able to ask questions and make it more interactive. Okay, guys. Sorry, we took a little bit more time today. Obviously, no, it will not will not stay until twelve. Absolutely not. Okay, guys. Take care. Good luck. Thank okay, you. Okay. Lecture on YouTube. Y yes, uh, on Blackboard basically. بس إذا يوتيوب كأحسن لإلنا كمل. yeah yeah our basically our link the YouTube link to the actual lecture. okay. so you'll go on Blackboard you'll click on the YouTube link and then you'll be able to see. merci. all good okay thank you.